Hi everyone, in this video we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this expression here. So because we have an s squared on the bottom and we have an s up here, that should draw us to use the formula that involves the cosine function. Recall that the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus k squared is equal to the cosine of kt. The way I memorize this formula is I always just remember that cosine has the s and then sine has the k. If there's a k here, this becomes the sine function. So just remember cosine has the s. Okay, so there's no number up here. So maybe we can pull out the four up here. So let's do that. So four inverse Laplace. And so when we do that, we're left with an s up top. Also, um, there's no coefficient here on the s in this formula, so we need to pull the 4 out from the bottom. So when you pull that 4 out from the bottom, you're going to get s squared plus, and then pulling out a 4 from the 1 is going to give you 1 fourth. That's the clever step. And you can check this by working backwards. 4 times s squared is 4s squared. 4 times 1 fourth is 1. So everything is 100% awesome. So this is going to cancel. So this is the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared. Now you can rewrite your 1 fourth as k squared. That's going to be 1 half squared beautifulness. And the cosine function has the s. So this is going to be cosine of kt, but k is one half. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.